What's going on, mobile gamers? Today we're going to be converting all of our bin Q files into one little file called the CHD file. So let's jump in and up our gaming knowledge. In the land of getting ROMs, games, whatever you want to say, off of sites like this, for example, you may come across a file that has 50 different bin files in one Q file. And when you try to load it into Daijishu, for example, you have all of these bin files that are very sloppy and messy and take up a lot of space on your SD card or your internal storage, whatever it may be. So today, I decided to finally share something that I discovered probably about a year ago when I got back into this kind of stuff, which is converting these files into a CHD file very easily using your Windows PC. So the very first thing you're going to do is download the files in the link in the description below. It's just one zip file called CHD man. I am not the developer of this program. You can look it up online if you want to, or just download this program because it works out the way it's supposed to. And it's very easy. And I've already just basically set it up so that you can just take all your bin files and copy them. So, if you got a game like Marvel Super Heroes, for example, this one is for Sega Saturn. This also works for ISO files, converting them to a CHD file. And for any PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 files that have two files, which are called a bin queue, uh, just like this. Sometimes they only have one bin and one queue file, or sometimes there's two bins and one queue. This is going to work for you. That being said, let's download this program and extract it into a certain location on your desktop, your downloads folder, inside of your uh, games folder, wherever you want to download it, just unzip it and put it in that file. So what you have to do is just double click on the zip file, grab this folder right here called CHD man, and then just copy it to wherever you want to copy it to. Now I'm going to copy it into my retro games folder. I already have it right here called CHD man. And I'm just going to say replace files and destination. Sure. Now you're going to open up that folder. Very easy, very straightforward. This is the easiest thing since gaming was existed. Maybe. I don't know. Now what you're going to do, you're going to navigate to the folder wherever your downloaded game is. Now mine is just in my downloads directory. You're going to grab all of your bin queue files, just like so, and paste them over here. You're going to paste them in the same directory where all of these other files are, these extensions and these bat files, just like so. So just copy and paste them. Now that you have them over there, you're going to navigate all the way down to the one that says Q or GDI to CHD. You're going to double click that bat file and let it do its thing. This is going to compress all of these files into one single CHD file for you to actually put onto your mobile gaming device. Or your favorite mobile gaming device that is, which I'm going to be showing you right here, the Odin Pro. Now, just let it do its thing. It does take a while sometimes, depending on how big your game is. This one isn't very large, but it's going to compress all of these files into one individual file. Now, make sure if you have multiple different games, you can put all of them in here all at once. Just make sure you wait for them to all do their thing. It'll go down the list of all these games. You can go cut the grass, go get a coffee or a tea or a drink, come back and everything will be done in a matter of how long it takes you because it depends on how many games you have. But what I mean by that is if you have multiple different games that have bin queue files, it'll just grab all of the games that are the same name and convert them into this little CHD file. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to plug in my... Odin Pro into the computer and I'm going to copy this CHD file over to my Odin Pro into my Sega Saturn just right here I'm just gonna copy and replace it because I've already got that file on there now while you're doing that you can just grab all these bin Q files you can either delete them get rid of them forever or do whatever you want with them but I'm just gonna delete them because there's no purpose of having these files so as long as you have already converted them and as you notice Instead of the 456 megabytes that it was, it's down to 348 megabytes. So it's compressed it down to the proper format and allowed you to have one single individual file rather than a billion different files. Now, 
that's how that's copied over to my Odin Pro. I'm going to open up RetroArch. I'm going to go over to my Sega Saturn games. Scroll down to wherever that game is, which is not showing up because I haven't actually scraped it yet. So import content, scan directory, storage. Go to my Sega Saturn folder, scan this directory, and go back and back and back. And Marvel Super Heroes right there. Click run, and we'll be on our way to play Marvel Super Heroes in no time. Basically just running right from a CHD file. I'm just going to fast forward this so that we can actually get into it. And there it is. So there you go, guys. Convert all your BingQ files easily with this program. Anybody that's using a Mac or anything like that, or Linux, I'm sorry, I don't have the method for you. I'm a Windows guy, and I'll always be a Windows guy, unless Windows crashes. Have a nice day.